Okay, continuing on from yesterday. Next problem says the following. Find the linearization of f of x equals the square root of 1 plus x at x equals 0, comma. Find the linearization of f of x equals the square root of 1 plus x at x equals 0 and use it to approximate the square root of 1.02 without a calculator. Now I'm going to show you with a calculator how close it is, but we're going to actually do all of the math without the calculator. No, we do not. It's going to be all. It's going to be all stuff that you don't need a calculator for. How many questions? I'd have to go look. I don't remember. Now, let's remember what we did yesterday. Yesterday, we were basically finding equations of tangent lines, and that's what we're doing here as well. They gave us the function f of x equals the square root of one plus x. They gave us the point x equals zero. We're supposed to write the equation of the tangent line. So what we were doing is coming over here and writing p, parentheses, and then m equals for the point in the slope. What do we already know? You know the x value is 0, so just put it down. How do I find what goes with it? Plug it into the original equation, and what do you get? 1. So the point in question is 0, 1. Now I need to find the slope of the tangent line, and how do I do that? Take the derivative. Do this very carefully. That is to the power of 1 half. So what is the derivative? What do I write? 1 half. What comes next? 1 plus x to the negative 1 half times the inner derivative, which is 1. Okay, I want to clean this up a little bit. Since I have something with a negative exponent, I'm going to go ahead and just write a fraction. 1 over 2, that goes in a radical on the bottom, 1 plus x. And that's about as clean as I'm going to get it. Am I supposed to set this equal to 0? No. No. I'm supposed to plug in 0 because 0 is the x point in question. So f prime of 0 equals 1 over 2 square roots of 1, which cleans up to be... One half. Okay. So, using that information right there, let's write the equation of the line. So we start with y minus one equals one half parentheses x minus zero. This is not too ugly to clean up. So let's go ahead and clean it up like we usually do. Y minus one equals one half x. Y equals one half x plus one. All right, I'm going to stop for just a minute before we finish the problem and kind of give you a visual of what we're doing, okay? What we're doing is when we find a linearization at a certain point, we're finding the tangent line like I told you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this function, 1 plus x, and I'm going to type it in the calculator on a zoom 4. There's the graph we're talking about. And we just found the equation of the tangent line at 0. So here's 0, 1. That's the point in question, right? We just found the equation of the line that should be tangent right there. And we got this equation. So I'm going to go now to y equals again and type in that equation, 1 half x plus 1, and graph it also. Now look at that. Is that the tangent line at 0? Yes. Perfect. We did it just right. We got the math right. It is the tangent line. Now, a lot of times... It's much easier to plug a point into a lines equation and do the math than it is to plug it into a nonlinear equation and do the math. Do you agree with me? When I've, if I've asked you to substitute a number into a linear equation, usually it involves multiplying and adding, something along those lines. So if I plug a point into this line, that's a real easy math problem to do. If I plug a point into this curve, not always so easy to do because I don't know the square roots of number. So since the lines are so close to each other, 
at the point of tangency, the line is a very good estimator for what I need. So watch this. I'm going to zoom in at 1. So I'm going to scroll up to 1 and zoom in. There's the curve. There's the line. So if I stay close by, aren't the line and the curve going to have pretty much the same y value? Yes. So watch this. I'm going to trace out to another point. Oh, I can't do it yet because I haven't told you what point we're going to do. But as long as I stay close by, here's the square root graph. Look at that y value. Look at that y value. See how close they are? You see how close they are? So the whole point of linearization is to be able to give you a y value that's really close, even though it's not exact. Okay? So, yes, we're using a calculator. Yeah, that would be a lot easier to do. But if you had to plug something into here versus plugging it into here and get a decimal, I'd rather plug it in the line. Work's going to be a lot easier. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Okay. So now, here is where it gets a little tricky for this problem. Okay? So, to find the square root of 1.02, we will estimate with that equation right there. But here is what the tricky part is. What do we plug in for x? Okay, you've already figured it out. A lot of people would think, oh, that says 1.02, so I plug in 1.02. Because yesterday, when we had a square root of 123 in there, what did we plug in? 123. But the equation's different now. Look at this and look at this. So if I want what's under here to equal this, what should I plug in for x? 0 0.02, not 1.02. You follow what I'm saying? Okay, so x is 0 0.02 this time, not that whole thing that's right there. Do I need to say that one more time? Yes. Okay, some of you are seeing it, some of you are not. Let me say it another way. Okay, you can actually mathematically figure this out. You look at the equation that you're given. You look, look at what you are asked to find. This radical is supposed to equal this radical. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually just do the math. You can say that the square root of 1 plus x is supposed to equal the square root of 1.02. And you can solve it. And that will tell you what x is. So how do I take those square roots off? I square both sides. So I get 1 plus x equals 1.02, 1, and there you go. Yes, ma'am? So they just give you the, the approximate the y value, which is the square root of 1.02? We're going to use this line to approximate the square root of 1.02. Okay. Okay? Because without a calculator that's and a, and a square root table, that's impossible. Yes. Okay, real quick. All right, so now we need to take this decimal and plug it in there and see what we get. Question? Um, how did you know that the square root of 1 plus x equals the square root of 1 plus Okay, uh, because I'm using this equation, I use this equation to find the line, this equation has got to equal what I'm looking for. It's always whatever the equation they give you, you set equal to whatever you're looking for. Okay? okay. Does that answer your question? Okay. All right, so now take your line y equals 1 half x plus 1 and plug in the point zero 0.02. y equals 1 half point zero 0.02 plus 1. What is half of point zero 0.02? Point zero 0.01 plus 1. And so you get y equals 1.01. Okay. So according to the line, that is the square root of 1.02. Okay, the approximation of the square root of 1.02 is equal to 1.01. .01. The exact value of 1.02 is exactly equal to, let's make that squigglies, because that's approximately equal to that. Now, let's bring the calculator back, and let's find out exactly what the square root of 1.02 is and see how close we are. Look at that. Is that pretty close to 1.01? .01? That's very, very close. So it says that it's 1.00995. That's very close. 
Okay? So if you go back to the picture, if you go back to the picture and trace to point zero 0.02, see how close to the tangent point I am? There's the curve's exact answer. There's the line's answer. They're pretty darn close. You see that? I'm not exactly sure why that's, oops, because it moved over. 1.01, .01. that one moved over. 1.009995, okay? So, how easy was it to do the math with that, plugging in 0.02, very easy. Without a calculator, can't do that at all. That's why the line is so important, okay? The line gives us an estimate when we can't do it by hand in the curve. Any questions? Is this going to be on our exam? The concept of it, possibly. You need to, because you weren't here, notice that this, I mean, look at the first page of notes. You need to get that. This equation might be on the exam. Right there. Okay? Any other questions? Okay, I'm finished.